Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing today? Happy New Year. It's uh, January 2022. Uh, here in Toronto, Canada, it's approximately minus uh, 25 with the wind chill, so it's a very cold day here. So uh, hopefully you guys are in warmer climates, and if you do, I applaud you guys. I'm going to do another video unboxing of a company called Bonsai. Uh, recently, they came out with, uh, I believe it was a, a 114 scale uh, four-wheel drive buggy. Uh, most recently, they released a 110 scale, at least what they call a 110 scale monster truck uh, in the road in the name of uh, Z Road. So, Bonsai Z Road. And uh, I decided to pick up their monster truck just to see what it was like. I see that it comes with a 550 motor, so it should be somewhat decent. So, I'm going to do a video unboxing of that. Anyways, this is the uh, box it comes in. You can see it says uh, Bonsai right on it. It's a very, very big box, so it's I got it kind of limited for space today. So anyways, I'm going to start with the unboxing here to show you guys what's involved. So I'm going to start breaking it apart, at least I'm going to try to minimize the damage. Right away it's kind of looking closer to a 112 scale, but uh, it's, it's, it's a, I would say it's in between a 110 scale and a 112 scale. But anyway, this is the truck itself kind of hard to see but looks quite nice uh, brand new uh, Banggood just released it okay so here's what it looks like front and rear okay um, so just looking at it right here steel dog bones steel drive cups um, front uh, the front looks pretty pretty durable okay it's pretty thick plastic upper and lower arms as you can see got some metal over here okay and uh, we got some, of course, some metal in the back. Got a little wheelie bar here. Um, you know, it, I mean, it, it's got a 550, so it should have, have some decent de some torque, especially because it, with these, it comes with these big monster truck tires. It's got a nice wing, so it's definitely a monster truck slash truggy kind of look to it. So, anyways, uh, the uh, shocks are not oil filled, uh, but the damping seems pretty good actually. So it's a good progressive spring rate. So it's not too bad. It's actually quite nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, well the older generation JLB Cheetah, the uh, one one zero zero one I think it was called. Came out a few years back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take off the body clips so you guys can see what's underneath. Um, I believe this is the first YouTube video um, unboxing this particular car. So happy to be uh, the first to do that. So first off, here's the body. Um, you know very thick plastic it's actually pretty good it seems like it's made of durable quality plastics okay it's got a plastic sheet on top which I'll leave for now uh, the body style comes with a, as you can see it's a, a traditional pickup with the wing at the back and uh, it also comes in a black and green sort of finish I chose the white and the white the more patriotic American colors you can see um, and so here is the truck so I'll just show you guys so of course, as you can see here, we have a 550 brush motor. The battery is, uh, surprisingly, it's a lithium ion battery. Just in here, I believe it's an 1800 milliamp unit. I'm thinking it's a high discharge because obviously it's gotta feed the big 550. Um, 50 amp brushed ESC, of course. Um, and we have under this little section here, the servo. So yeah, it, everything seems all buttoned up nicely. Um, protected as you can see if you guys have a closer look so you can kind of see it better all right so as you can see the ESC has a Dean's connector and of course the uh, female Dean's for the light bulb it's right over there and uh, yeah like I said it's got a nice it's got a lot of thick plastic so I don't see this thing breaking it's got it's it's supported by as you can see uh, here, the, the points are here, here, and down here. So three points of um, of impact gets absorbed by those three. So one on the chassis, one sort of in the middle of the chassis, and one closer to the upper part of the gearbox. So I think they put some um, research into this. Got a back legit back bumper, which is nice. You can there's a holes here. You can put uh, some lights in the back, right underneath the wing, which is fixed, not adjustable. And then we have a nice decent bumper at the front. It's softer plastic, but it's very firm down here, which is exactly what you need. 
So if you hit if you hit something here, it'll it'll stop it in its tracks right in front of the front uh, diff box. And as you can see, the back of course is fully protected because of the uh, wheelie bar setup. So underneath we have a plastic chassis. Looks like it's pretty pretty. It's reinforced, actually pretty good. Very very thick plastics everywhere. So here here of course the uh, tray and of course up front. So very interesting design. Um, Going off road, yeah, some things may catch in here, but it looks like it's all sealed anyway, so you won't get any water or mud or anything. You might get mud caked in, but it's not really an issue because it won't get into the chassis and into the motor potentially or even the uh, pinion. So you don't have to worry about that. It's all sealed. So yeah, it's not aluminum, but it looks very, very strong. Solid, as you can see, solid um, rear lower arms for strength, of course. And it's reinforced, as you can see, right up here it's reinforced right over here on both sides and the same goes with the front reinforced design here on both sides of course and the front has the same similar arms so very very solid very very durable okay it looks like this can definitely take a beating which is probably what they designed this for okay so that's the car we have in the goodie bag we got our sticker sheet right here and we have uh, an extra uh, lithium-ion battery, uh, 2S of course, and the uh, USB charging um, system right over here. Um, I don't see any extra parts. And in the back, we have the owner's manual. They're all pretty much straightforward instruction manual. We have the uh, remote on the smaller side, very similar to the uh, WL Toys um, budget. Um, size. Um, this actually looks like a rebranded actually. Uh, it's got the knobs on the top of course just like the W.O. Toys does. Um, left and right. Once for steering and once for throttle. We have our on-off switch right over here. And she takes four AA batteries. So I guess that would be it for the video unboxing of the all-new Bonsai Z Road 110 scale four-wheel drive monster truck. So if you guys have any questions about this RC truck or any of the other ones in my fleet, guys, please by all means leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions that you guys may have. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would most definitely appreciate it. Alright? Alright guys, have a good day. Take care. Ciao.